Hi, welcome to Great Food. I have with me Chef Michael Bailey from the Embassy Club West. Now, Michael, you are really well known as a, you know, first of all, a wonderful private club, but also you do catering all yeah. over Central Iowa. You're really, you know, really good at that. People, you know, people do their weddings with you and everything. Yeah. But normally you do that in Central Iowa, but yeah. in December you were doing that halfway around the world in yeah. China. Yeah, we were in, we were invited to do. Uh, do several caterings and several uh, provenances from uh, the uh, some people in China because of the uh, dinner we did for their now president Xi Jinping. So, so the president of China chose you yes. to come and cook for them in quite a few of the provinces. Yes. I mean that, that's kind of amazing. Yeah. What was his connection to Iowa? His, How did that work? His connection. He was here in 1985 uh, as a young politician, and he stayed with a family in in Muscatine. And uh, when he came back to visit uh, through in 2012, one of the things he wanted to do was uh, go visit the family that he stayed with in, in Muscatine and catch up with them, some old friends of his. That that is awesome. So, so then you you did a dinner for him. I understand. So, so we did. We we didn't do a dinner directly for him. We traveled to uh, Guangzhou and southern China and Nanchang and and central China and Beijing and did dinners with the best chefs of their providences. And we just did. We did a course, and their chefs did a course. So it was a great collaboration, a, a kind of a chef to chef and person to person kind of uh, reunion or. Uh, Right. Um, I understand it was sort of in, in um, recognition of the 35th anniversary of diplomatic relations opening yeah, up with China. Yeah, yeah. And, and so it was a chef to chef thing, which, and like you say, it was, it, you know, kind of a personal professional thing it, versus, you know, diplomats. It, it, exactly. So yeah. You it were was, the diplomats. Yeah. yeah. We, we were the <laughs> diplomats and their chefs were the diplomats. And we got to work together and share cultures and share food. And that's how everyone around the world. Uh, Every, everyone shares that, so it's no, right. it's no different. No, how far you are away from that. All right. So, so show us what, so, something you've you brought back. So, with you. so what we got, what we got here is on the uh, on the winter solstice. It is traditional for them to serve uh, dumplings. So what I've done is made my own little version of their of their dumplings. I'm using a little bit of ribeye, Ooh. ground up with some spices. I'm just going to use a little little form there and then that's how they do that. that that's how they do that you can do you can do it by hand but these little things are just really handy we're gonna boil them in some water one of the things that I really loved uh, about that we had this dish several different times in China and it was done different ways usually done with pork so I'm adding a little Iowa spin Iowa spin to this oh, good I have uh, in the in the pot here we have uh, we have our our dumplings, our dumplings finishing up. I'm going to add those. Ooh, yum! That's great. Add add those to our to our plates here. So while you were there, you were cooking with the chefs, um, and and they were cooking with you. And what were you know what was some of the things that you kind of gleaned from them that you sort of thought that is this such a cool way to do that? Well, or? it what what I was most I and mean, I don't know if it was surprising what I what I enjoyed the most was how kind and mm -hmm. nice the people were because we would go into a kitchen never being there before and we would have an hour to prepare a dinner for 120 people <laughs> so and never being in a never being in a kitchen uh, and it's a little it's a little daunting task to try to perform that so they were so helpful with allowing uh, allowing us to use their kitchens and trying to uh, just help us on every turn. I mean, every every cook and every chef wanted to help us just to help make the dinner dinner great. That is great. so great. Some cultures do hospitality really well, and, and it sounds it, like they are masters of it, it. It is. I mean, they're the they're the oldest food country or food culture in the world, and it was really amazing to get to work with them and see their different styles because we were in southern China all the way to northern China and just to see the different progressions and styles of their of their chefs and it was amazing to work with. It sounds like it. Now did you cook something for them that they sort of hadn't had before? They sort of went, wow, well, uh, our, we wouldn't have well, done that. Well, our, uh, the, the styles are, are completely different. We tried to bring in as many uh, Iowa products as we can. I mean, in my in my suitcase, I brought in uh, La Quercia Prosciutto and brought in uh, Maytag blue cheese. So wow. we tried, we you tried snuck to bring, that in. We, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's, 
but yeah. uh, but we also tried to bring in some Iowa Iowa beef and Iowa pork, and I still think that's in uh, customs in Shanghai somewhere. Oh, darn! So, <laughs> I hope somebody gets it before you know while it's still good and gets to enjoy it at so least. So <laughs> I'm gonna finish off this plate. I have the the ribeye dumplings in here. I'm gonna take just a little bit of smoked cauliflower oh. puree because I'm not doing a, a version that I had there. I'm just kind of. <clears throat> Americanizing just just <laughs> in what 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 inspired me to to do this so you know smoking I've just read in you know, all the culinary trends pieces everybody's talking that smoking is the thing right now everybody's it smoking is. more than just meats they're smoking cocktails they're smoking you know purees they're you know it's it's like the thing and it's it's fun exactly and I got another fun little thing that I've been doing lately is I've been using my French press for coffee to quick infuse herbs so I have a beef, I have a beef broth here. Uh-huh. That, so I'm gonna add this to the French press. I love that. You, you know, you're the guy who goes to the hardware store for, cook, yeah, for yeah, cooking yeah. things. Yeah, <clears throat> <You, laughs> where, where I shop, where, where I shop for uh, cooking supplies, this may not be where everyone knows, but what this, <laughs> what this is going to do is flash infuse the herbs just so I can Let's, get can we yeah oh good you got it you got a shot of that great fla yeah. flash infuse the herbs uh -huh. so it can get as much flavor out of them as possible quickly, quickly. without without losing them so oh, cool we're gonna, add, so gonna taste fresher we're gonna add a little bit of the of the beef cocktail to this Ooh, that's beautiful and for a few other small small garnishes I've got a little bit of rosemary oil and back we had several great great mushroom dishes there their Chinese are known for their mushroom dishes so I have some beautiful oh beautiful yeah. chanterelles here mm. they do chanterelles I was thinking that, of oysters and shiitakes yeah, but we yeah. had we had several different kinds I wouldn't, wouldn't even try to name them all <laughs> that's a great. little bit of uh, bok choy leaves some some baby bok choy for both of them fantastic and just for a little extra layer Color. of flavor i have some poached beets and finally all right some some pea shoots can you get a shot of this this is absolutely beautiful so, i can tell you were so so inspired by you got that a little bit yep you're so inspired and it's so beautiful. And congratulations on a great trip. Thank you I'm, very much. Yeah, thanks for telling us about it.